Hello, I'm John Toll, and you're very welcome to the Charleswood Festival 2021. There's a host of unmissable events taking place this week, including appearances of the Charleswood Singers in both of Armagh's cathedrals, as well as on its historic mall. The festival will also be live streaming events online, and all of the booking details are available at charleswoodsummerschool.org. We launched the festival with a song recital recorded by two of Northern Ireland's finest, mezzo-soprano Carolyn Dobbin, and pianist Ruth McGinley. The recital was recorded in the beautiful St Patrick's Church of Ireland Cathedral and I was lucky enough to have a chat with Carolyn about Charles Wood beforehand. So back in 2006 I started to research songs by Northern Irish composers. Um, a lot of these songs were, were lost or forgotten about or just simply not known about. So it was really nice to dig into the archives of various universities and music colleges and, and find some of these pieces that were either out of print uh, and get them reprinted, especially for me, which was very nice, or um, find the manuscripts and, and get them typeset so that we were able to, to perform them and record them. And that was the important thing, was really to highlight them, to, to bring a spotlight onto these songs that were forgotten, because some of them are absolutely beautiful. And um, I mean, Charles Wood himself was very well known for his, his sacred music and his choral music, but uh, not many people realise that he wrote 50 songs, but only 12 of those were actually published. So it was really nice to, to dig deep and find not only the, the pieces that had been published, but were out of print, but also the uh, into the archives and find some manuscripts. So today I will be performing one manuscripts and the other pieces are uh, songs that have been published. So in some cases you are literally bringing these songs back to life? Yeah, absolutely. I hope so. And that's the aim is to sort of, you know, get them out there. And, and, and this wonderful thing with this Charleswood song competition, it's actually, you know, filtrating down into the younger singers and they're learning about these songs and performing them in the competition. And, and that's a great way of, of generating interest in, in these pieces. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful to be a judge on this competition. You hear some fantastic talent and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful to sit back and listen to them being performed and brought to life in front of you. And as you say, Charles Wood is best known for his choral music. When it came to writing songs, what did he write about? Uh, oh gosh, so many things. I mean, his songs fall into two categories. One category would be the art song, which is a complete composition. And, and he would have used... Uh, texts by very famous poets like Moira O'Neill or Thomas Moore. Um, and then all, on the other hand, he did a lot of arrangements of folk songs. These pieces are really worth knowing about and uh, really worth recording and um, getting out into the wider circle. And good to sing. Fantastic to sing. I mean, the, you know, the, this one in particular is so dramatic, you know, so it's like singing, all singing like Wagner, I suppose. But <laughs> some of the other ones are a lot more intimate, um, uh, like, for example, at the mid hour of night. That's just that's sublime. It's almost Schumann in, in style. Um, and it's an absolutely exquisite piece. And as well as your musical talents, you've also brought your artistic talents to bear. You're doing a sketch of Charles Wood himself. I am indeed. I have been commissioned to uh, do a little portrait uh, in pencil of Charles Wood um, and I've been searching around for different images. There is the one very strong image that uh, everyone is, is familiar with but I've discovered another one where he's facing straight on so I'm going to try and use that one to, to produce a nice pencil uh, drawing for that for, for, the, for the festival. So they'll use it maybe like, like Henry Wood at the proms where they bring out that bust and put it in the middle of the Albert Hall. This will be the, <laughs> be the image of, of Charles Wood going forward. Exactly, yes. We'll be wheeling him out on every occasion. <laughs> the collection of songs we're going to hear now aren't all by Charles Wood. That's correct, yes. Uh, I decided to make a little programme bringing lots of Northern Irish composers together. So not only do we have Charles Wood, but we have some Hamilton Harty, who is, uh, of course, from Hillsborough, just down the road. Um, and we, I also decided to include two female composers, Northern Irish composers. One is Dorothy Park, 
and the other is Joan Trimble. Um, I decided to link a few uh, pieces together and the Fiddler of Dooney, the words in that one, which is by Hamilton Harty, uh, are by Yeats. And then of course the Dorothy Park song, The Falling of the Lees, the words are also by Yeats, so there's a nice connection there. Um, and then I'd f I decided to finish off with um, someone who's not quite Northern Irish, but he was born in Cork, but he spent 30 years of his life in the north of Ireland. And he ran the BBC music department for a while, and it was Havelock Nelson. So I'm finishing off with a, word, uh, a song called Dirty Work. So it's a recital you could enjoy from the comfort of your own living room chair? Yeah, absolutely. It's, there's something in there for everyone. There's uh, really dramatic pieces. There are some really intimate pieces. There are some folk songs. There are some funny pieces. Uh, so I hope there's something for everyone in there. In At Sea, Charles Wood uses the text by Moira O'Neill, a very popular poet at the time who lived in the glens of Antrim, and indeed, this text mentions lots of places and scenes along the Antrim coast. Like the Glenarif Forest Park, the Darklin Caves, Lurgodon Mountain, the melody rises and falls like the swell of the sea.
The second song, At the Mid-Hour of Night, uses the beautiful text by Thomas Moore. And in fact, it was this song that was reported to have been his favourite of all his songs. I often wonder if it had been written in German, would it have been as famous as Anti Musik or Nacht und Träume? Who knows? Hamilton Harty was born in Hillsborough, which is not too far from here, and like Charles Wood, moved to London to study and became very well known for his excellent accompanying and composing and later his conducting. With each song, you will hear how he paints the pictures and sets the scene. In Cradle Song, this is a lovely lilting lullaby with beautiful harmonies and words that are to do with the nativity a poem set by many composers, including the very famous Herb. Gentle. 
I've loved looking through archives, through the pages, seeing the handwriting in which Charles Wood would have written. And it was so small, um, it was really hard to typeset, but you, you get an insight to the, his personality. You can see changes they made, the scribbling out bits, rewriting of other bits, but also some really funny comments at the side of the manuscripts, and you get an insight. Joan Trimble was born in Enniskillen in 1915 and came to London also to study under Herbert Howells and R.V. Williams. She's famous for performing piano jets with her sister, but her song compositions have a definite Irish soundscape and were inspired by traditional Irish music. She was also a very strong, formidable woman and took over the running of the Enniskillen newspaper, The Impartial Reporter, after her father's death. I will now sing the beautiful Green. Oh, 
Havelock Nelson, although born in Cork, died in 1996 in Belfast. He spent 30 years at the head of the BBC, so I'm adopting him this evening and we're finishing off with one of his very well-known pieces, Dirty. Thank <laughs> you. 